Hi, I'm Shireen and I'm an English nerd. I love English. I love grammar. I love vocabulary. I love reading. I love writing. I love talking about it. I love language. If you love language too and you're learning English and you'd like to learn English with me, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and we'll learn together. Let's learn some expressions that have to do with time. These are appropriate for intermediate to advanced language learners, and if you use them, they will help you to sound more interesting in conversation and also in writing. You can use these formally, informally, they'll work anywhere really. And this is really just to help you develop your vocabulary, give you different ways to say things. The really important thing here is that you are not going to remember these if you just sit and watch this video. You need to be involved in your learning. I say this over and over again. Learning is an active process. So I really recommend that as you watch this video, you get out a notebook and a pen, you write down what you're learning, you pause the video if you need to, and it doesn't end there. Once you're finished with the video, you should try to write your own sentences with these expressions, read them out loud, and if you want to be super fantastic, you can teach them to somebody else. That is actually an excellent way to learn. When you teach, you really do learn. So if you have a speaking partner, which I hope you do, I hope that you have someone to speak English with, check and see if they've learned these phrases, and if they haven't, teach them the phrases. I guarantee you, you'll have a much better chance of remembering them. The first expression is only a matter of time or just a matter of time. We use only or just interchangeably in this expression. And what it means is that something is definitely going to happen in the future. It is unavoidable. So if your car was having problems, there were numerous problems over time, you might know that your car is reaching the end of its life. So you could say, it's only a matter of time before my car breaks down for good. Notice how I used before. We always use before. It's only a matter of time before my car breaks down for good. It's only a matter of time before I don't have a car anymore. <laughs> If you were telling a story about your car and all the problems it's been having, you might just say, my car is going to break down. It's only a matter of time. That's how you'd use it on its own in a sentence. It's only a matter of time. In no time. In no time is another way to say that something's going to happen very quickly or soon. So if you weren't feeling well, I could say, Get plenty of rest and you'll feel better in no time. You'll also hear people say in no time at all. This is very common to add at all at the end. So I could say, you better hurry up because the train's gonna be here in no time at all, so we need to leave. <laughs> you'll also hear people say in less than no time. In less than no time is like really emphasizing that it's going to happen very quickly. So. I'll have the work to you in less than no time. That means very quickly. I'm going to give it to you very quickly. To bide your time or to bide your time until something means to wait and be patient until the right moment to take an opportunity or to do something. So for example, I'm biding my time until I buy a house. That might mean many things. I might be trying to save money to buy a house, or I might be waiting for the housing market to drop so that houses are cheaper, or I might be waiting until I find the right house. I'm biding my time until I buy a house. At times is another way to say sometimes. So when you're learning a language, you're bound to feel stressed at times. When you're a teacher, you're bound to feel stressed at times. Don't confuse this with when we're talking about at times to mean 
during a certain time. For example, we should be compassionate with each other at times like this. That doesn't mean sometimes, that means during this time. At one time or another. At one time or another means sometime in the past that's unspecified. It's something that could have happened occasionally, not very often. For example, we've all faced a challenge at one time or another. I had a white sweater at one time or another, but I don't know where it is now. Time consuming. Time consuming means that it takes a long time or it takes too much time. It consumes time. And the meaning here is pretty obvious, time consuming, but maybe you didn't already know it. I could say traveling by car is sometimes more time consuming than taking public transportation or data entry is time consuming work. So thank you for giving me your time. In English, we give time. If you want to learn more English with me, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. Go find me on social media. I'm on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. My handle is at an English nerd. See you next time. Bye.